Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Blake Damon here and today I'm playing support at Numbani. I decided to pick Moira yeah, for this map good. only because we have both a monkey and a Genji. Both of who I thought would benefit from Moira's ability to dive with them. Watch out for Hanzi. I died there because the Hanzo did an excellent job using a different path that wasn't main. He used the distraction that his teammates were providing him on main and he used the off angle to take us by surprise. So that one just comes down to me keeping my eyes open and trying not to get tunnel vision. You can also take a page from Hanzo's positioning, which was excellent. Don't always use main, don't get too predictable, and you might be able to take the enemy team by surprise. Just like what this enemy Hanzo did. That's much better. Right now our tank and one of our DPS has been eliminated. So right now we're just waiting in cover, doing a little bit of poke damage, trying not to die. That trying not to die part is very, very important because we don't really want to stagger this team by getting eliminated while we're already waiting for our other teammates to respawn. In fact, if you feel like you won't be able to survive waiting outside, be safe and go back to spawn. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so we lost that team fight despite us using quite a few of our ultimates. In hindsight, I think I could have done a better job supporting the monkey and the Genji's dives. I saw Junker Queen and I think I might have backed out a little too far. In fact, I found myself behind the cart, which is a very difficult position to support the monkey from. It was way up front. So yeah, I definitely should have pushed forward with the tank on that last team fight. Wow, so the queen just altered and yet none of us are antied. That's because our Kiriko placed a very well-timed Suzu. So props to the Kiriko for saving all of our lives. I see a hostile. You will be renewed. Wait. Oui. I got it. Yep. Wait. Oui. I got yeah. it. I feel hurt. Bathe in sunlight. Gotta say that that was an excellent ult by the enemy Hanzo. He used his ult through this lane here. Not only did it eliminate one of our DPS, it also did a great job splitting up our team. We had the Zarya all alone at the front, which made her really easy to eliminate. Nice. But he's just gonna rest by the thing.
Got one here. Scared of the pine, so are you okay? Nope. Ah! Hey, Bobo. Yeah. I think one of the main reasons why we won that last team fight is because of the enemy Hanzo not being around to eliminate us all. The Junkrat managed to eliminate him at the very beginning of that last team fight. After that, I think we just sort of wore everyone down with our alts. It is a pity that we used so many, but we did win that last team fight, so I'm not too upset about it. A win's a win. Behind. Hunter's behind. And the enemy Hanzo does it again. He again took advantage of the distraction that his team were causing, managed to get behind us and eliminate our unsuspecting Junkrat, which sort of split me and Kiriko's attention between the tank and the surviving DPS. So if you're playing a DPS with high mobility, I would suggest doing what this Hanzo is doing and find off angles or flanks that will surprise the enemy team. Yeah, it's really strong. So I died there obviously because I tried to 1v2 Wait, a mercy boosted them. Hanzo. Yeah. In hindsight, I should have known I wasn't going to survive that. He's I shouldn't have even us. attempted it, yeah. really. I should have left it to someone with either high DPS or a really large health pool, like the tank. So a little tank tip. If you're playing tank and there's someone behind your team killing off your backline, I would highly suggest you deal with them first. Either try to eliminate them or get them to retreat. After that, you can go ahead and fight normally. So we won that team fight because our Junkrat just really popped off there. He eliminated the Hanzo, which is the enemy team's best DPS, and then used his ult to eliminate the other DPS and the tank. So props to our Junkrat for that amazing play. Wait, they Oh no! Oh. Double kill. Oh, my bolt did something. <laughs> nice. So I definitely died there because I wasn't paying attention to what was happening behind me. In a situation like this where you're between two exits, it's important to keep an eye on the other exit because obviously the enemy team could use that one too. So yeah, don't be like me, don't get tunnel vision and always look around. Stand back. Oh, the DPS. And now one of our DPS is left. We have less than a minute to win this match, and we are down one DPS. Up, soldier. <laughs> I gotta say, this is my favorite Moira intro ever. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share, and subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize.